All right, so today, today we are here at the Fun Center at Pages Crossing, and we are here to get um, one of the credits in Indiana that's just randomly um, in a place like not connected to anything else. Um, this will probably be part one of a like little mini series that I do getting each of the remaining credits in Indiana for me. I've obviously been to Holiday World and Indiana Beach as the Holiday World's my home park and Indiana Beach is easy to get to. Um, I've had both of those, but there are three more credits in Indiana that are actually kind of hard to get to, kind of like this one. Um, there's one at the Indianapolis Zoo, which is like never open, and one at a pumpkin patch in Lowell, Indiana. So hopefully I get to each of those. Um, eventually I'm gonna make a little mini series. This will be part one because we're hopefully getting the credit today. And yeah, we'll see what happens next. All right, so you actually have to go across this bridge thing to get over to the coaster and the rides, I believe. So you can go down there to get to like the Wisdom Tornado and the uh, Himalaya. We're gonna to go to the coaster. I haven't seen it run yet. I'm really hoping it's open or I'm gonna be a little sad that I drove four hours to get here and it's not open. We'll see. All right, so we're over here to ride the coaster. Here it is and I'll get a deeper look after we ride. All right, so we are here on the coaster. We're about to go. I'm in the back row. Curtis is in front of me. It's so janky. Oh my god. This is so janky. This is great. I'm kind of scared right now. Woo! Oh. This is the best kitty coaster I've ever ridden. Oh my god. Woo! Woo! Holy cow. That's got some laterals. Oh my god. Woo! Air time! Air time! Air time! Woo! We're going again. What? This is the best kid coaster ever. Yeah, it was worth the trip. Air time and laterals! Oh my god! I, I stood up on a kitty coaster! Oh my gosh! This is awesome! Woo! I gotta get a rider cam so you guys see how insane this is. Hopefully you sit this around one more time. Alright. Rider cam time. It's time for the reverse rider cam. This coaster is literally insane. If you haven't been able to tell yet, this is nuts. Ejector air time! Oh! I don't know how well you can tell through the video, but that is a crazy drop and and laterals! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh, this ride is awesome! Woo! Here we go again. Ejector air time! Ejector air time! Right through a tunnel! I'm surprised it hasn't valleyed, honestly. Woo! Oh! Oh, my rib! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Wow. That's great. All right, guys, just check out this coaster. This is the wildest kitty coaster I have ever seen in my life. This drop gives so many forces and airtime in the back. It goes through a tunnel over a large camelback into an extremely strong double helix. So not a double helix, but it's back-to-back -back helices. And it has so many laterals. So many laterals. And then a little bunny hill that actually gives a little bit of airtime here. And you go around twice. And it's so janky. You can tell it's really old because of how the train moves on the lift. This is so funny.
catches every time in the station. Wisdom makes some amazing little kitty coasters. It's awesome. All right, so we just rode the coaster a few times. Uh, we got the credit. What did you think of that? Best kitty coaster I've ever ridden. It's, it's literally insane, is it not? Like, it's awesome. So um, we're gonna we're gonna go check out this place um, in other ways. That's the only coaster they have, obviously. It's a family entertainment center uh, here in. The go-karts are loud, but it's here in Columbia City, uh, Indiana, kind of near Fort Wayne. Um, I only have two more credits after that in Indiana to get. You have Indiana Beach and then two more. Yeah. So uh, Indiana Beach is easy though. We're gonna uh, get these hard credits in the next two parts of the series, but I do want to make this a little bit longer of a video, so I'm gonna go check out some mini golf. We're, that's what we're gonna do. So, or putt-putt. Here we go. Okay, we have Nate here on the Hole one for a stroke. Hopefully not three. Right. A little bit left. Alright guys, before we move on. Wow. <gasps> gotta give you a little update. Um can I see the score? Yeah. I uh, remember that I suck at golf. I have what? Four on a par two. I have a total of uh, whatever that is. I don't want to it up. Yeah, eleven. And I have eight. Yeah, you're cool. Okay, let's go. It's literally a Camelback hill. Camelback. We're gonna give this ball some, hopefully Morgan airtime, so it doesn't really come off the green. We're gonna see what happens here. This is this is how you get a hole in one. Oh, so you think? Okay, it's not how you get a whole one. All right, let's see if Curtis can repeat my par. That's my first par of the whole game. <laughs> the wind is blowing that way for sure, heavily. Whole cam. No. Nope. Ink. Boom. Double par. All right, it's time for golfing with Nate 101. You probably don't want to follow any of these tips. All right, see this hole right here? That's really hard. You gotta get the strategy. You gotta straddle the light. Put. He, that's what he went for. Looks a little bit like mine, just a lot less rollback. What are you, dragster? With your rollback? All right, so what we got here, we got a classic helix to the hole. I'm just gonna chip it over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chip it. This is how you chip it. <laughs> actually not it that actually, bad. It was actually successful, I just hit it too hard. Okay, here's Curtis's attempt at chipping it. Oh no! <sighs> no! I got it underneath it, just don't No! I can get it, I can get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, I can get it. Hold up. All right, here's take two. We're gonna pretend that one didn't just happen, even though I'm still putting it in the vlog and you guys will still see that. Okay, let's see Helix. They're going around, seems pretty forceful. Watch it get stuck under the thing. Where is it? Right there, to the right. I can't see it, just go. Woo! Helixes are not always fun. See, that was some lateral force that did not allow that ball to go in there. Go home, ball. Can't you just go home? Just as we thought we were doing well, uh, Curtis just got a hole in one on that, and I just got a par, uh, two strokes, par. Um, now we gotta hit it up into that, which has a little hole in it that goes through a tunnel over there. We're gonna set, set you down, set you down right here. There you go, I'll let you watch. This awful mess. I'm gonna stop it, because I'm just gonna reset it every time. That's one. I got it! I did it, it's over here. Check this out. Woo! Sorry, I passed it. There we go. Not too far. I'm only at two. Here you go. I'm gonna do this. 
probably gonna blow it from here, but that's fine. You gotta get that whole shot. No! No, I thought I was gonna get three. Oh, I did it too hard. That's a five. I know you've seen our skill, and I promise I'm not lying. Curtis can vouch. I just got a hole in one, and I am so excited. So, after adding up all the scores, I got a 53, and Curtis got a 45. So, Curtis won. I'm the mini, but I was, closer I, I, I wasn't expecting to win. We're gonna try the driving range. Yes, more golf for this terrible golfer, but we're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna see if I can actually like do this. I literally don't wanna break the club. <laughs> yeah. All right, we went up to the top because the bottom's not as cool. This is Curtis's backwards hat lucky shot. Here we go. And it, and you failed. I just want to say that before I came out here, I had only gone to a driving range once in my life, uh, and I broke a club. Uh, I have not broken a club here. I think I've improved a bit, and I'm actually gonna try for this shot and not be a jokester, so. And that was actually really good. You probably can't see the ball. But at least not past 150, and I've never done this before, so. Run it back one more time, have me go more. So I gotta get rid of the rest of my tickets, but what better way to do that than on the incredibly insane kitty coaster? That's what we're gonna do for the rest of the time, pretty much. One thing I will say, guys, is about this place, um, it's not terrible, but it's not super well run. Like, I'm over here waiting for the coaster to start for someone to run the coaster. Um, I, it doesn't say if it's closed down or not, but I'm assuming because of what happened earlier, it's not closed down because we walked up to it, no one was here, and then a ride op came over. But I don't think this place is very well staffed, at the at least. Um, it's not a bad place to come. It's a little poorly run. It, it probably needs some new management, but um, the coaster, I would say, is worthwhile if you're in the area, for sure. It's something that you can't really experience anywhere else. A tunnel on a kiddie coaster is pretty insane. Okay, one more last remark about this uh, coaster here. I just rode in the front for the first time. It's actually my last ride, we're about to head out. But oh my gosh, the ejector airtime coming out on that Camelback in the front row. It is literally something else. Look at this. Maybe they'll fly up a little bit. It's so insane, the airtime. It's nuts. So we're officially heading out of Page Fun Center at Pages Crossing for the day. Um, it's pretty good. What do you think? It was pretty good. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. So um, we I rode the coaster 16 times actually. Um, the front was insane. The back was insane. It's I can't even believe it's a kiddie coaster. Um, we had some fun doing the golf. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video overall. If you did, make sure you give it a big, huge thumb up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video